The man who boasted of planning the 9-11 attacks on America has finally appeared before a specially convened military court at Guantanamo Bay. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed appeared alongside four other alleged co-conspirators. After more than a decade waiting, relatives of some of those who perished on 9-11 had travelled to Guantanamo to get some answers. I'm going to see the people that killed my sister face to face. And that's what you do in America. And you go and you, you face your fight. And that's what we do. And, you know, we, we bring um, people to justice. Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was arrested in Pakistan nearly 10 years ago. Today, he appeared with four others accused of training the hijackers, helping financially and finding flight schools for them. They face several charges, including murder. And if found guilty, they could face the death penalty. First time around, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed tried to plead guilty, apparently wanting to be martyred. But Barack Obama stopped that military tribunal, wanting a civilian court instead. That plan hit mass political opposition and the buffers. So after pledging to close Guantanamo, Obama's had to go back to the military tribunals after all. According to CIA documents, Khalid Sheikh Mohammed was tortured by simulated drowning 183 times. Some argue covering that up is the real reason for refusing the men civilian court. The motive behind this categorical overclassification is clear, to prevent them from revealing information embarrassing to the United States government. The military deny that, claiming the procedures have been changed since the last time around. The law prohibits the use of any statement obtained as the result of torture or cruel, inhuman or degrading treatment, and we will implement the law. These proceedings will be fair. In election year, the president who had bin Laden killed could also benefit from the 9-11 suspects finally facing justice, however imperfect.